Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, we are doing something different today. We're doing a beauty favorite. So I'm going to be sharing hair care favorites, makeup favorites, skincare favorites, body care favorites. I think that's everything, uh, but it's a lot of products. I have a huge bin next to me on the floor of everything because it didn't even fit in a cosmetic bag. So first I'm going to start with makeup. So the first pieces I'm going to be mentioning are from City Beauty. And if you're unfamiliar with City Beauty, they're a luxury skincare brand. All their products are cruelty free. They're PETA certified as well, which is a huge plus. And all their products have clean research driven ingredients that all target anti-aging. And I am partnering with City Beauty on this video today. However, all paints are my own. I have been using these products, especially one of them I've been using for over a year now. This is my second bottle of it which is the night lips oil so this is a very genuine partnership i just wanted to of course disclose that it is sponsored by city beauty so i'll be sharing four products from city beauty so the first product is their city lips night oil and this one is my second bottle i did receive this in pr like over a year ago and i have already used up all that one so my second one i really like this product a little bit of product goes a long way so that one bottle of this size lasted me like almost a whole year i just opened this one maybe a month ago and a little bit of this goes a long way i will usually just use the applicator to apply a little bit on my lip and then i'll use my finger to blend it all out and then next i have two of their plumping lip glosses this one's definitely my favorite i am wearing this one today this one is in I think it's San Diego. Yes, San Diego. Um, it's a really pretty, like, kind of peachy metallic color, and I've been really into metallics lately. I also think this color is very summer, and then this one is more of like a nudie. There's not any shimmer in this. It's called Pink Nude. So this one's really nice if you're just wanting something without any kind of sparkle or glitter. And then this is their Beyond Mascara. I'm wearing this on my bottom lashes, so I really like this one for my bottom lashes. It does not transfer. Um, I typically will use waterproof mascara so to avoid anything transferring, but this one is the only non-waterproof mascara I've ever tried that doesn't transfer. And I do have a discount code for you guys. I'll put it on the screen when you blend to receive 15% off your order at City at Beauty. So that's everything from City Beauty. I will have their website along with the discount code in the description box as well in case you miss it on the screen. I also have it again right here for you guys just in case. So all my makeup products I just have and this is like all my favorites. I'm not going to share things that I've already shared before. I think I only have a few uh, products in here that I've already shared before, like in my TikTok uh, beauty favorite hauls or not hauls, but in those videos that I do on there. So this is the Givenchy Prisme Libre Powder. I was using the, I think it's called Rose Petals or something. It's the pink one for a long time. I've gone through like two of those. This one is their pastel one. So this is in one number one pastel. Um, I love the pastel one and then the rose one. I think it's just called rose ombre rose petals i don't recall the name of the rose one but it's kind of like a pink one that one and this one are really really good um i just i think i ran out of my pink one i don't know why um i also love this design i received this in pure a long time ago and i've just now opened it in the last few months i love it next is this ysl bronzer this is so nice i've only used it a couple times but i'm already obsessed with it i also love the packaging this one is in the shade uh, all Hours Hyper Bronze. Uh, I think the shade's just All Hours um, and Hyper Bronze, I think is the name of the product. But I love the packaging. Um, I feel like you can't really go wrong with a bronzer. I've never tried a bronzer that I like really didn't like or anything. Um, so yeah, I love this. Another bronzer, but this one is different occasions. So with that one, that I will wear that one. I have like several different products in here for different vibes. So for the YSL bronzer, that's a powder bronzer. Obviously I will use that if I'm not doing foundation and I'll explain in one of these products, it'll make sense in a second because you're probably, it probably makes no sense. It'll make sense and just keep watching. Um, and then this one is from RMS Beauty. This one is like a shimmer one. So with the YSL one, I do that if it's just a concealer, no foundation kind of day. Um, and then this one has shimmer in it. This is like if I'm on vacation, this is in the shade Tan Lines, such a cute name. Um, and it has kind of like a golden, not like a lot of shimmer, but enough to where it looks kind of like you've been kissed by the sun. Um, so I like this one for from on vacation. And again, it's like a no foundation, like lighter makeup day. And then this one is definitely like a holy grail, no matter what makeup look I'm doing, uh, foundation, no foundation, whatever I'm doing, this has to be part of the equation. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Powder. Um, this is one where if I had to like pick one product and my makeup's already finished to take with me and I have to wear the makeup all day long, it would be this. Um, this and um, probably the plumping lip gloss from City Lips the Sun Diego are probably my top two because you have to reapply lips and then this is a really good powder to set your face and also to touch up with. Then we have this uh, Haas Labs, I think is how you pronounce it, it's Lady Gaga's uh, beauty brand. This is a foundation, I'm wearing this today. Um, and what shade is this in? All of the, I think all of her face products are made in Korea too. I know this one is made in Korea. Yeah, I think it's just in the shade B34. So I'm wearing this today. I do not typically wear foundation like at all very rarely to wear foundation but my forehead is so burnt because i was i went to catalina island the other day with my dad and for father's day and my forehead uh i didn't wear a hat or anything i did wear sunscreen but we were just, like sitting in the sun for a long time 
So um, just in general, the whole day we were in the sun. So my forehead literally has like red streaks like this, but you can't see it because I covered it up. This is really good coverage. Um, so that, that's amazing if you want something more full coverage. Um, a little goes a long way with this as well. So this is how now the powder bronzer situation is going to make sense. So I don't wear powder bronzer if I use this because this is so pigmented. And I use this only when I wear foundation. Um, occasionally I will use it if I have like breakouts or something but I still don't feel like wearing like full foundation. Then I will use this because this is so many products in one. Um, it has blushes in here. This product's kind of like slightly a highlighter. Um, it has kind of like concealers. You can create a foundation, bronzer, so many things that you can create with this. Very travel friendly. Not necessarily in size, but in the sense that you get multiple products in one with this. It's from Makeup Forever. It is their HD Skin Face Essentials Palette. It is an essential, that is for sure. Everything is cream in here as well. So because the bronzers are so pigmented, I'm wearing this on my face today. That's why I don't do powder bronzer over it because there's so much pigment in these that you do not need it. Next is this Tarte Blush and it's their Amazonian Clay. 12 hour blush in the shade energy um i don't i haven't i was trying to link this somewhere uh, the other day and i couldn't find it so i hope they still sell it but maybe i was just having an issue but this is like the perfect you know that dior blush that everybody loves i love it i have it i use it i just feel like i have been using it for so long i was like i need something different that's basically the same thing and i really like this it's also a little bit more pigmented than the dior one so i kind of like it a little bit more actually um, so yeah, I'm wearing this today as well. Um, next, um, I used this for the first time today. I was like immediately, this is going my favorites immediately. Um, this is, I just received this literally yesterday in PR. Um, it's from Amarni Beauty. It's their Luminous Silk Cheek Tint. I believe this is a new product. This is in the shade 53. It's that same like Dior, famous Dior, that Tarte blush, like that uh, famous like beautiful pink color. I'm wearing this again today. So pretty. And again, when I'm filming like on camera, when you guys see me on camera, my makeup probably looks less uh, vivid than it does in real life. So if you're looking at my face on video and you can't really see the blush, that's why. It looks a lot more vivid in real life. Um, a lot of influencers that I've known in the past actually do makeup entirely different for filming than they do in real life, literally because of this, because it will not pick up on the pigmentation as much. Um, like I've known people where they will film videos, like YouTube videos, do makeup for the YouTube video and they're going out that night and they will literally take off the makeup and redo it not even because of wanting fresh makeup but because the makeup is entirely different for filming versus uh, for every day. So yeah, I love that blush, it's my new favorite, I am obsessed with that product. Um, and this is from Haas Labs, this is their concealer, I'm also wearing this today, it's in the shade 13, um, light neutral. So I love this, um, it also I believe it's also made in Korea. Just really nice like uh if i ever came out with, like a skincare brand or something uh, makeup i would definitely want like made in korea next we have some eyebrow products these i can do all together because they're just all together right now um this i just started using a few weeks ago i don't know how i'm like so late to the game because i'm pretty sure so many people talk about this and use this it is anastasia beverly hills brow freeze gel like i think we all know what this is i'm just so late because i was just like okay like i have a lot of brow gels like whatever it can't be like that wow because a lot of the times when somebody does hype up a product and i try it it's not like whoa to me um so whenever i see of like a viral product i'm kind of like mm, like is it wow this is one of those where it actually is um if uh i'll put on the screen here that video that i did uh a campaign with zip beauty uh all owned by current body uh the, my eyebrows uh in that video i just use this and they look so bushy and full i almost like them better in that video than they do look look right now like and i have them penciled in right now and for my eyebrows everything that i use like pencil wise is always from benefit and this is their precisely my brow pencil and i use this for like everything besides the front part and then the front part i use the brow micro filling pen uh so it kind of creates those like realistic hair like strokes next this is whoa, whoa whoa this is a wow product i saw this on tiktok i did end up receiving this in pr um, but I saw this on TikTok first, and uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that. I don't know how viral it is on there, but this is from Danessa Myrick's Beauty. This is in the shade Unbothered. Yeah, Unbothered. And um, it's exactly how, like, if you look this product up on TikTok, it's... I am so excited, I can't even speak. Uh, if you look this product up on TikTok, it's exactly how they describe it. It is the perfect. I'm wearing it today. Again, with filming, you may not be able to... I don't do, like, makeup for filming. Like, I do do, like, a little bit heavier makeup for filming, but I don't do, like, the whole face completely different for filming. Um, so I don't know if you guys, I just did like my normal amount, so I don't know if you're able to see it very well on camera. But, um, this blush is literally like a, um, you know that blush, I also have it here because it's also a favorite from NARS in the shade that I don't think I can say out loud because of the name, but we all know what it is and I'll have it linked in the description box below. Um, this blush, uh, you know how it's kind of like shimmery and it has like kind of like a little bit of a highlighting effect? That's what this gives you on top of whatever blush you want to wear. So I will just apply this on top of my blush. 
um, kind of like in this, the area of my face where I would do highlight. Um, and it gives like the perfect natural, can I speak? I'm like, oh my gosh. And it gives the perfect natural like highlight finish without looking like you have highlighter on it. It's just absolutely perfect. It's like a bomb consistency. So I use kind of like a foundation brush uh, or whatever for cream products, kind of like a cream bomb consistency to apply it. And I just kind of like dab it. Perfect. They come in a million different colors as well. And then of course this NARS blush is another favorite. I love this for traveling. It's a stick. So you just, you know, a uh, really quick application process. My favorite eyeshadows of all time, Natasha Denona. This, I've been using this palette for so long, I don't know how it has not hit pan. Oh my gosh, one kind of broke a little bit. Um, but I mostly just use this dark brown color, and if I'm feeling a little frisky, like for me, I don't usually wear eyeshadow, then I will use the other ones. She makes the best eyeshadows ever. Um, this is their mini star palette. Um, so yeah, I love this. And I also have a discount code for Natasha Denona. I'll have it on the screen. Um, but yeah, I love, love, love Natasha Nona products. For lip liners, I have MAC Cosmetics in Oak, and I have Makeup Forever in uh, Up and Down Tan, and then I have in Anywhere Caffeine, I'm wearing that one today. That's like usually what I'm wearing in every video. And then Boldly Bare MAC Cosmetics. Uh, these are like all my favorite lip liners. I haven't really switched these up because I just keep using the same ones. The only one that's new because I just received in PR is that, um, what's it called again? Up and Down Tan from Makeup Forever, which is very similar to their Anywhere Caffeine color. Next I have these Guerlain Meteoroids, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, I used to purchase these for so, like at least over a decade, like ever since they've existed, I believe. Um, my mom was the one who introduced me to these, like back when I was still a minor, like a child. Um, she would always like take me to the mall to buy these if we were in France or whatever, she'd take me to the Galleries of Lafayette um, to purchase these meteoroids. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so they come with like a little puff and then these ones are kind of more of like a highlight, sort of like pink pastel color. I have them in probably every shade. Um, it's like if I knew when I was like a child that I would be like sent Guerlain in PR and I also worked with them before, that would have been like, I would have not, this is like one of my favorite things ever as a kid. I love these. Um, so yeah, I also love this, it's like a new collection. So I love the design on this as well. Next is this Westman Atelier. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I'm wearing this today, it's a little bit like not, it's a little bit dirty because I use this kind of a lot, but um, I used to use my finger and I go like this and I just put that on top of the Danessa Myricks, like not literally on top, but like the line right above it, if that makes sense. Um, so I do have a little bit of like that highlight sheen that's slightly different color from the Danessa Myricks uh, Unbothered Shade of Blush. Next we have the large bin of the rest of the products I need to share in this video. So the first thing, in no particular order, um, we're just doing hair care next, is Briagio uh, Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I received those in PR like a long time ago and I never used it because I was like, why would I need like a micro? I just thought it was silly. And then when I used it, because um, I had like some buildup in my scalp, my mom was telling me, oh, use this, it's a really good product. She um, has one as well and she's been using it, loves it. So I tried it and I'm now addicted to it and I cannot stop using it. I use it every other time that I wash my hair. I wash my hair once every like five days. Um, I do have naturally like curly, thick hair. I just style it for videos. I think like anybody who's following me for a long time knows that, but my hair's not naturally how it is uh, right now. So um, because of washing every five days as opposed to more frequently, I do get more buildup. So um, this has been really helping with that and my hair literally looks like salon level um, from using this. Like obviously a few different products achieve that look, but this is definitely one of them. Next, I have this Reset Clarifying Gel Shampoo from Amiga. Um, I like this. So first I will use the Briagio Scalp. It's like an exfoliating. So if you have like an exfoliating face wash, it is the same thing for your hair. So I'll use that first and I'll just scrub like basically the whole scalp. And then I'll rinse that out and then I will use this. This is basically a clarifying uh, shampoo. So this is I will use prior to my main shampoo. Um, and I really like this one. Three products from Orbe. My mom has been obsessed with Orbe for a long time. I have used Orbe, but I was somebody that had no idea that like what shampoo and conditioner you use really made a difference. I mean, obviously, yeah, I figured if you use something, you know, like a dollar shampoo or something, it's probably not doing anything for your hair or if it's just like a horrible product or something. But I just kind of thought they all worked the same if they're all kind of in similar price ranges. Um, and I kind of thought it was weird that my mom like was so set on like specific shampoos and conditioners. I was just the weird one for thinking that it didn't matter. Like, of course it matters. Um, so I asked my hairstylist like probably a year ago, I was like, how do you get my hair like so soft? Like it is so brassy whenever I'm not here. Like after a few washes, it is back brassy. Like I need assistance, please. Um, and she told me that she uses, everything she uses on my hair is from the Orbe Moisture line, which is this line. So I was like, okay, like I'll try it. And she also told me to mix a hair mask with your conditioner as your conditioner. So 50% conditioner, 50% hair mask. I've been using that in these products as well. Um, so this is the Moisture Orbe line shampoo and conditioner. Um, it makes a huge, huge, huge difference. I haven't seen my hairstylist in months. And I tested this after months of not seeing her. My hair was very dry and brassy. And then I used these. 
complete game changer, complete game changer, I can't say enough about it. Um, and then the Orbe Gold Lust Transformative Mask. Um, my mom got me this, it's white's different from this line, because I just was like, okay, let's try this out first before I go like buying the whole line. Um, so I did buy these, um, and my mom got me this. Uh, this is the, again, uh, Gold Lust, so this is a different uh, line from the Moisture line. And this is like, makes such a world difference in your hair. I've tested it. Um, by using like different products and using this alone to make sure that it's for sure this product it is absolutely this line of Orbe, um, the moisture line. If you have hair like mine, thick and kind of curly frizzy, naturally this is so for you. I don't use a whole lot of styling products, so I think these are these are the last three uh, hair products. So I have the Kerastase uh, Elixir Old Time. Uh, I think it's how, it's just a hair oil. Um, I've been using this for a long time. I think it's like my third bottle or something of this. Um, and then I have the Redken Spray Smooth Instant Smoothing and Frizz Protection Spray. This, I did work with them on this, like, I think over a year ago, and I've mentioned this, I think, in my beauty favorites on TikTok as well. Um, obviously this one's not sponsored by them, nor was the beauty favorites on TikTok. I just actually literally love this product so much. I feel like, uh, you know, there, there are definitely people out there that will work with brands and they don't even care about the product or like the product. I, like, genuinely like the product of whatever I'm promoting, and I really use it. If I don't like something, I'm not promoting it. Um, and typically I will try out products for a while prior to promoting them. Like in a lot of the campaigns that I do, I try the product out prior to promoting it. Um, so I really, really like this. This is so good for my frizz. Also, if you're going to the beach, like for me, my hair will get really frizzy at the beach. This like stops that, it like prevents it. So this is such a good product. And then the last hair product is this Nexus uh, Slick Stick Stronghold Hair Wax. And I really like this, like the sticks for if you're doing a sleek back and her pony. Usually I do a ponytail because if I did a bun, my head would be hurting so bad from how much hair I have. Um, I just use this really easy, just use a little stick to slick your hair back. Okay, next um, we're going to do body care. So the first thing is this Biofine. I tried to not mention like any of the products that I've already mentioned in the TikTok beauty favorites. This one I know I mentioned on there, but the products that I'm picking that I've already mentioned uh, in my beauty favorites on TikTok are basically like, my holy, holy grail ones. Um, hence re-mentioning them. So this is Biofine. I use this. Um, this is from, it's like a French pharmacy product. Uh, emulsion. It's basically just like a cream for burns. So my sunburn, it looked way, way worse. You can't see it at all because I have the uh, Haas Labs uh, laid by Lady Gaga, that uh, foundation over it. So it covered it up so nicely. I was impressed and very shocked that it covered it up so well because I was thinking, how am I going to film with this? Like my whole forehead was completely red. Uh, or I guess it still is just covered up by that foundation. Um, but it looked even more insane when I like the first morning after uh, going to Catalina Island and getting that sunburn. Um, and I used this overnight um, and it looked so much better after using this. I also use this on my psoriasis, uh, so it's really good if you have eczema or psoriasis. Next I have this Tan Luxe, the Gradual Eliminating Gradual Tan Lotion. Um, this is like, I've tried using another uh, like drugstore version of this. It did not work. It left me streak streaky. I tried to remove it. Hopefully you can't see it in this video because I have some of it like right here. I'm not even somebody who normally self tans like at all. I usually like do not like self tanning. I already have an olive complexion. I don't really need to anyways. But I was going on vacation and I was like, okay, I'm like, like my dad told me I was really pale and I'm not even like a pale person. Like I have a natural like olive skin tone. I'm part Spanish and Japanese. Like I do not, I don't think I have pale skin, but he was like, whoa, like you look so pale. And he made it like such an ordeal. So it just made me think, am I actually pale? Like, see, he doesn't normally even care to like make remarks like that. So I was like, okay, like I'm not going on vacation pale. Like I'm, I'm sorry, like not happening. So I put this on before I went to Sun Bards. Um, and I think like some of you guys were asking in the comments like what self tan I was using. This, it's just this. Um, this is such a good product, doesn't leave you streaks. I tried to then use like a drugstore version of this and I have streaks on me right now because of that. So I was trying to test out if it's, I did receive this one in PR, but I was trying to test out if I need to repurchase this after this um, or if I can use a drugstore version. No, I need to repurchase this one. It's not the same as the drugstore. The drugstore one will leave you streaky. Um, so I love this and a little goes a long way also. And you don't have to use like a mitt or anything. You literally just apply it like lotion, wash your hands after. I don't even do like the whole setting a towel down. That's why I also don't like self tanning. Way too much effort. I am not sitting around here doing all this shower rinse off, putting a towel down before I go to sleep. Like I sleep so crazy anyways, that would never work. Um, so I like that this, you can just put it on like a lotion. You don't have to be careful around elbows or anything like that. You can just do it like, it's very like idiot proof. <laughs> I saw a TikTok video of a girl talking about this product and she was saying it's literally quote idiot proof. And that is so true, which is me with products as me. Um, so I really like that. Um, you don't have to lay a towel on anything. You just put your jammies on right after and it doesn't, uh, there's no transfer either. Next is this Le Petit Marcielis. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, it's basically an almond uh, scented body lotion or hand lotion you can use for either or. I use this if I'm too lazy to hassle with like an actual body lotion. 
because I think this is supposed to be more so for your hands. It's just a large bottle. I purchased this at the Monoprix, uh, it's not the French pharmacy, but it's at the grocery store in France, in Paris, is where I purchased this. Um, and this absorbs into your skin so fast. It's really nice if you're kind of lazy like me and you don't want to take the time to like wait for your body lotion to absorb in your skin. This one is lightweight and it also absorbs really quickly. Next, deodorants. I use two and I don't know why I implemented this and I don't really know if it does anything. But around maybe like two years ago, I started implementing using two deodorants. Um, I think because I started switching to stick deodorants, so then I kind of felt like, what if that's not working as well as a spray? And I just started using both, I don't know. So I've been using the NUX roller deodorant. Um, the one I was using prior to this that I just ran out of, I still love it, is Yardley London in that rose scent. Um, so I will use a roller deodorant, and then after it's absorbed into my skin, I will then go over it with a spray deodorant, whether it's Dove or this one from Chanel. Um, I don't know the scent of this. It's just the pink bottle, um, the Chance, you know, the Chance Chanel, obviously, I, I'm like not awake today. So I'll just spray this over the stick one after it's dried. If somehow I just convinced myself in my mind that's doing something. Next I have this L'Occitane body oil. I have a large one with a pump in my shower, but it's so messy and sticky right now that I was like, I'm not putting this in the bed and like bin and like risking it leaking and like, you know, making other products sticky. So this is a new one I just received in PR. I haven't used this one yet. I'm just show, like I have it here just to show you guys the product because the other one is so dirty. Um, this is the shower oil. I think it's just, yeah, it's just an almond oil shower oil. Um, and I use this to shave and this is such a holy grail. And then if I am doing that tan luxe gradual lotion, um, I don't do like anything to prepare for like the self tanning process um, outside of exfoliating. So uh, this one's a really good body exfoliator. I have an issue where a lot of the exfoliators I use basically do nothing and I still have with dry skin afterwards. This one actually does something. It's from the brand Fur and it's called KP Body Scrub Powerful and Exfoliating. Um, and it's just really good for exfoliating your skin and actually exfoliates it um, as opposed to me exiting the shower realizing my skin is still dry um, after most of the exfoliators I use. And then for tanning oil, I like this SPF 6 one from Lynch St. Bart's, um, or I think it's just St. Bart. Um, and this is a new one because I didn't want to use one of my old sticky ones, but um, so I haven't opened this one yet, but I just restocked on these when I went to St. Bart's. Uh, I love these. Okay, I'm going to do perfumes next. I feel like that's like a body product. I have so many to share um, because I have been in my like trying to figure out, I don't know, I've been like exploring perfumes lately. So I've just been interested, it's like a hobby of mine lately to explore fragrances. I don't know why, it's just been like a fixation of mine lately. This is one of the newest ones I've been loving and I think it's perfect for summer. I just received this NPR and it's so, it just smells, literally it's called juice, it's what it smells, it low key smells juicy, <laughs> like that sounds a little bit, you know, but that's literally how it smells. Um, I don't know how to pronounce, like even describe it but it smells, it has, I think, like a berry scent in it as well. Um, it smells, I'll have like some of the scent notes on the screen so I don't honestly recall, but it just smells really nice and unique. I also like unique scents. I don't want to smell like everybody else. I want a unique scent. Um, and this smells very unique. It also is new, so you know, that's probably why. A long time forever favorite. I'm going to talk about this more. I don't know which video is going live first, but in another video, I think it's going up after this one. This is from Montal and Rose Elixir. My friend purchased this for me a long time ago and I have, it's all the way down to like the very bottom because I've used almost all of it. Um, I used this during like when I lived in LA like that era. Um, not when I lived in the valley but when I lived like in LA like the city LA, uh, city part of it. Um, and so that's kind of like a nostalgic fragrance for me. Um, I also love the packaging like this metallic pink is such a vibe. And then next is the new perfume from Philosophy. It's their Radiant Grace. And this is also like a very kind of like spring summer scent. So I have all of these perfumes are on, like I rotate my perfumes contingent on the season and the time of year, it means the same thing. Um, so this is also like all these fragrances are on my little vanity and then whatever mood I'm in that day is what perfume I end up picking to wear. So I love this one as well. DKNY Be Delicious perfume. This was a favorite of mine in high school and I just really wanted the nostalgic scent, like the nostalgia aspect of this. Um, so I was on Hunt. And I just love it. It reminds me of like when I was a teenager. Um, and so this is just, I don't know, I'm like really into like nostalgic scents and vibes lately. Like even my fashion sense, I've started kind of going back to like my roots. I don't know, I feel like the vibes have just not been on lately. <laughs> so I'm having to like go back to like the old vibes. Um, but I love this scent, it's so nostalgic and it's perfect for summer. It's like the perfect summer scent. So these are all perfumes that I wear. I have two more to share. Um, that I wear like if I'm home and I'm running errands or whatever, but they're all so full still because I'm rarely home um, So when I travel I use like this brand Scentbird has little travel size fragrances So I'll dive into those more and I think uh, another video that will be posted on here soon um, But these are like the full full size ones that I have sitting on my 
vanity. Um, so next I have Vacation. Um, this is, the brand is literally Vacation. This is the scent of Vacation for their SPF. If you guys are familiar with their uh, sunscreen and most known for sunscreen, this smells exactly like that sunscreen. So this is a perfume that is very like pool day, beach day, but yeah, it smells exactly like their Vacation sunscreen. Then we have this Alt fa Fragrances. I do have a discount code with them. I'll put it on the screen. Um, I don't recall how much you receive off, so I'll have that also on the screen. This is supposed to be like a dupe for Baccarat or Baccarat Rouge. Uh, what's it called again? I don't even remember the name. Baccarat, Baccarat Rouge something. Like, I don't know why I'm wanting to call it like 300 or something, but that iconic scent it smells pretty similar to that. Um, I also have some candles from that scent, um, and my mom was saying it smells like exactly like the candles. So this is in the uh, scent crystal. So if you guys are wanting something like similar to the Baccarat Rouge at a diff more affordable price point, this definitely is a good option. Now for skincare, I believe everything else is skincare. I need to be fast. This video is getting so long. Oh my gosh, it's just we've been overdue for a beauty favorites for a while. So we're gonna start with face wash. So I'll start with the ones that I use predominantly in the morning. Mostly this one I use in the morning. This is from Osea Malibu. I think so I pronounced the brand. Their ocean cleanser this is so so good. It has uh, like an energizing kind of scent to it, um, and it's really nice. All these products are also acne safe. I have acne prone skin. I just haven't had acne in a while, and I rarely have it because I've figured out what works for me and what does not. I'm someone where I have to be very careful with fragrances, so if I'm ever mentioning a product that does have a fragrance in it, it's probably going to work for you too if you have sensitive skin like I do. Like I'm someone where I will start like sneezing, like all sorts of problems if I like a fragrance is too much like in a skincare product. Even if it's a face wash, I've already washed it off, like I will start having problems. Um, so if you have sensitive skin like me, uh, these products should all work for you. Um, and I have dry skin, typically dry on the drier side, um, acne prone and sensitive. So um, I really like this, it has a very, very nice scent and it's perfect for the morning. I believe that brand is also based out of Malibu too, which I, I love Malibu, so it's even cooler. Um, and then I have, I just started using this from La Roche-Posay, uh, it's their hydrating gentle cleanser. So nice, it's, I believe it's fragrance free too, yeah it's fragrance free, sulfate free. As I said, mine and all the fun stuff. Um, I love this. Also, really good for removing makeup. And then this one, I predominantly use this one for removing makeup. Um, I just have. I was wearing light makeup the other day, and I used the little Roche one. And it removed it. So, so I mentioned that. But I'm not sure if it's actually supposed to remove makeup or just cleanse. This one has like on here. It says it will re remove like makeup and stuff. Um, this is your your Riage. Uh, I think I pronounced it Authermal uh, cleansing cream. I just purchased this when I was in Saint Bart um, at the uh, French pharmacy. I love this um, so much. It works really well. It's really nice for my skin. It even says on here for sensitive skin. And that one's very similar to the La Roche Posay. I would just say that that one might remove makeup a little bit better. And then next face cleanser, I think it's the last one, hopefully. <laughs> um, it's from Dr. Dennis Gross. It's their creamy cleansing oil with vitamin C lactic. Uh, yeah, lactic. So I just started using this because I just received this in PR. Um, and I really like this too. So for me, I will use a cleansing oil first to remove makeup. I do not use like wipes or anything unless I'm traveling. Um, and then I will go in with like the regular cleanser. So I will always double cleanse when I'm wearing makeup. And then for my eyes, like eye, eye makeup, I will um, soak up basically. I only use the Shiseido cotton pads. Um, they're my favorite ones. I have like loads and loads of these on backup. Um, they're my favorite cotton pads for your face ever. I will soak up two of those and then I will take them with this. Is, um, it's like a French, made in France, Evo Luderm uh, micellar water. <laughs> Can I speak? This is from Evo Luderm. Um, it's a micellar water. Uh, cleansing water, alcohol free, all that. Uh, it's basically like the Garnier, but this is just the French version. Um, so I will put this on two of the Shiseido pads and I will like put each to my eye and like hold it for a while. I learned this from Huda Beauty actually, not personally, but from a video. Um, hold it like with two fingers on top of the pad for a while until I feel like it's fully absorbed and then I will like wipe it. That way I'm wiping and tugging on my skin less to avoid wrinkles. Next I have these Dr. Dennis Gross uh, Universal Daily, Daily Peel. Um, these are really good for exfoliating your skin. I've gone through so many of these. They are so kind to keep restocking me on these because I get so nervous every time I'm running out and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to like end up actually like buying them myself because I always just see them in PR and then I'm like, oh, like I'm running low. Like this is gonna be my first time having to buy them myself and then they will show up at my door and I'm like, how do they just know like when I am running out? Um, so thank goodness because I go through these like hot cakes. It's like the only thing I've ever been able to use that actually exfoliates my uh, skin like really well. And then this one I use as well. I just definitely like the Dr. Dennis Gross one a little bit better. Um, this is the Rice Polish Calming. It's just like a powder. It's actually really cool. It like flips up um, when you use it and then it like comes out. It's like a little powder and you mix it with water and you use that to exfoliate your skin. Um, and I will use like basically I will almost like triple cleanse my skin when I'm wearing makeup because I don't want like a I have like a drop of makeup left on my face. So today, since we're wearing makeup, I will be doing all of this. 
This is their lotion, P50. It's the best toner in the world. Um, and I will never use another. I mean, I, I will use like other toners. Like I was using the Biosans toner. Um, just if I feel like my skin needs a break from this one because this is a little bit stronger. Maybe a lot stronger than the average toner. But um, in terms of like my favorite toner of all time, definitely this one. Dior Beauty. This is their Glow Booster Age Delay Eliminating Serum. It's my second bottle of this. My friend, the same friend that purchased me the Montal. Uh, Rose Elixir perfume also purchased me this a lot. I mean, no, she didn't purchase it for me. Um, she was using it, and I was, I was looking through her skincare bag. She has really good skin, um, and she was using this. And so then I went and bought one, and it's now my second um, little bottle. This is really good. And another favorite serum I've been using this like the last couple months from Vichy. It is their Lift Active Specialist B3 serum. So I really like this one. Um, it's been helping a little bit with the texture of my skin as well. And then of course, this is a repeat. I'm not going to like go dive into this like fully again, but this is just hyaluronic acid cream from French Pharmacy. Um, you can order this on the French Pharmacy, like that website, um, but I just purchased them when I'm in France and I've gone through so many of these. I love these. You do have to do like a sandwich method with this where you apply moisturizer on after this and that's what I was doing wrong for kind of a while. And I love this product even without doing that, even without even using it correctly. Um, this is really, really good. And then my current favorite moisturizers at the moment are these two. One's from La Roche-Posay and the other's from Vichy. I think these are owned by the, I think these are, they're both owned by L'Oreal, but I think they're also very similar in the sense of these two brands, um, the like formulas uh, and whatnot. Uh, this is the Vichy Mineral 89 72 hour moisture boosting cream. This, I'm like halfway gone out of this one. Um, and this one is the La Roche-Posay double repair face moisturizer. I just started using this one. Um, these are so good for me because I'm super super sensitive to moisturizers. I d I'm like getting worse over time because I used to use the Chanel, uh, the black, uh, I don't even remember what it was, Creme de Nuit, I don't even remember, it's that night cream. Um, the longest time, never had a problem with it and I've had sensitive skin. And I've started having a problem where I'm sneezing and everything from that uh, night cream which just so sucks so much because that night cream works so well. So if you don't have a sensitivity, that Chanel one works amazing. Um, however, I just started having problems where I'm literally like sneezing wearing it, so I just have to go like fragrance free. Next, I have this is um, I did that sponsorship with this brand, uh, Zip Beauty, the facial device. So I'm not going to fully dive into this product. You guys can go watch that TikTok video if you want to see it. I'm actually genuinely impressed with this product. Like, I know I worked with them, but I was literally in shock. This was actually like literally lifting my face like in real time. So I really really like these. Or it's just the same product. It's the gel that you use to apply. And for sunscreens, I've been loving this Glow Recipe. Watermelon Glow Dew Mom SPF 45 this is nice and in I love the uh, liquid version of this as well, all-time favorite. Um, really good for like on the go if you're on the beach and you want to like quickly reapply. This is the Murad SPF 45. Um, Lauren actually introduced me to this one a long time ago. This is really good for under makeup because you give it gives you like zero cast nothing. It's like it looks very very natural. It's actually kind of glowy and really beautiful on. Um, and this is the Aveen Hydrants. Uh, BB Light uh, SPF 30, so this is tinted. Um, I will wear this on like no makeup days. It's really, really pretty. I love tinted SPFs for, as like my foundation for most days. For lip balms, I've been really liking these Burt's Bees tinted lip balms. It's like basically all I wear for like no makeup days. And I have the A313 cream. I use this. It's basically like a tretinin, retinol um, for my skin. It's vitamin A cream basically. Um, and then I have from French pharmacies. So I bought this in France. Um, and then I have the Grow Recipe Watermelon Glow Nice and My Dew Drops. This is kind of relatively new. And I like using this mixed with, um, I use this specifically with the Vichy Moisturizer Mixed Perfect, or even all three of these products. So the Aveen Tinted SPF mixed with this and then the Vichy Perfect Combo. Okay, where I live. Last product is are these Grace and Stella Restoring Eye Masks. These are new, so I haven't tried these ones yet for fatigued under eyes. I think the, they've just released these or something. But almost all of the eye masks that I use outside of, I do have like some from Chanel and Dior. Um, I just don't use them like every single day. Uh, are these masks. So these make they make really really good uh, face masks and eye masks. Um, I mostly just use their eye masks, but I definitely recommend this brand for masks. That's it for this video. Again, I will have everything linked down in the description box below, as well as any kind of like codes um, in regards to any of the products that I've discussed. And I will have all of the information for City Beauty in the description box as well. And again, if you guys have any questions about any of the products that I've mentioned, definitely leave that in the comments below and I will respond to you. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.